afternoon everybody you might be able to hear the um the fountain in the background just kind of gurgling away um and it's quite dull here and we've had loads of lovely sunshine but we know now that rain is going to be coming in from the the west probably in the next few days but it set me thinking about water recently um years ago when i first started gardening it became again after quite a gap it became a family joke that um i, I was very good at, at putting plants into containers and into the garden but uh, i wasn't very good in in doing the other bits after that until i began to learn uh, in the last few years just how important that watering is to them and it's something that you have to do uh, day after day after day and you have to tend them and, and care for the plants and you, you can't just sort of leave them to it too much and I don't know whether you remember um, the good old pot man that used to come round uh, door to door in, in his float and in the part of the north that I grew up in you'd be able to buy things like dandelion and burdock and, and vimto and orange pop and all these other things because it, we haven't got to the stage like nowadays where uh, children are encouraged to have bottles of water in school and, and with them all the time and we know just how good water is for our, for our brains, for our mental functioning, for our skin and for our health generally. So water is inc inc incredibly um, important and that moved me on really to thinking about the story of Jesus and the woman at the well. It was an intentional meeting. Uh, he just knew everything about her and that's recorded in the Gospels in John 7 which say, if anyone thirsts let him come to me to drink and also in John 4 as well Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Water not just for today, but for the whole of life. Which kind of moved me on to uh, reading about how the number of people googling prayer on the internet has increased dramatically over the last weeks of the of this coronavirus situation where people are facing challenges that they never thought they would before and the importance of this absolute gift of living water that jesus gives us which is there with us forever um, it's our support and our life and our teaching and so just like to encourage you um, if you're searching at the moment to have a look at the John's Gospels perhaps chapters four and seven anyway I hope you have a lovely afternoon before the rain comes in bye for now <laughs>